since our last weekend in Melbourne. We've got a lot of exciting things planned and we're joined by two very special guests. This is my dad, all the way from the UK, and his partner. <laughs> we've done a long flight here, so we're going to show him around Melbourne, and we've got a lot of good things planned which we haven't done either, so it should be a good weekend. We had a nice reunion at the airport yesterday, but this morning we are off for some breakfast, and of course, they've got to try their first Melbourne coffee. Dad's first sip of an Australian coffee. Is it everything you hoped and dreamed for? <laughs> so good. Nice breakfast down the laneway, but was attacked by the blueberries. So we need to get me a new top. We're at the Queen Victoria Market, and I think when we went last time, it was a little bit quieter. But it's quite manic now. There's a lot of people. A lot of people. But my dad is in the market for an Australian hat. We thought what better way to show them the city than do the street art walk. Yeah, we're being full on tourists today. We've got our map, shows you all the little alleyways with the street art on it. We're doing it backwards, so we're starting at the market and working our way to Flinders Street Station. Yeah, good way to see the city and you get a nice vibe of Melbourne. And it smells of weed down here. Lovely. I've been Lee from Lee and Loz Tours and that concludes our tour for today. Tipping is optional, but not required. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed it. It's time to show my dad what a good brewery is. Obviously we've worked in a few whilst we've been in Australia, so I wanted to show him some good Australian beer. This is one of our favourites. I love a spicy marg, so I've gone for the spicy margarita sour. This morning we decided to go a bit cheaper for breakfast. We're going to try and find a bakery before we head off to the Moomba Festival. Yeah, so this is some festival that happens every year. We are not entirely sure what goes on. I don't know, it's free and there's loads of events on during the day. <laughs> so we're going to go we'll check it out. So we are going on one of these boats on not tomorrow, next day. We have made it to Moomba. So far it just seems like kids ride and what do you call um do you like prize games? I think we need to find some food. I'm just eyeing up the food options at the moment. Festival. Yeah, it's beautiful blue skies. Yeah, there's a lot going on. There's a um, wakeboarding competition on down the Yarra. There's different food trucks, yeah. rides. It really reminds me of Bedford River Festival. If you've ever been, it is that bit in Melbourne. I don't think many people are going to know about Bedford River Festival. Well, if you know, you know. But it's the hometown where we're from in England and it's exactly like this. Yeah, but more hectic. Yeah. Made I me. love a ride. Yeah. Not when they're $20 for one go. 
our first ever date when I was 18, Laura was 17. It was at Thorpe Park theme park in the UK. We went on about two rides, three rides. <laughs> and then that was really done for the day, couldn't do any more. No, but she stayed with me. Bye, Bye. Mumba. <laughs> off to Phillip Island today. Woohoo! It's about an hour and a half road trip there. We've done car next door again, uh, but unfortunately the radio does not work. It's gonna be a very animal orientated day. My type of day. We popped out the car, we're at San Nemo? San Remo? <laughs> San Remo. <laughs> San Remo. Um, San Nemo is a better name. Because they do pelican feed in here. It's just before the bridge going to Phillip Island. Yeah, they do it at 12 o'clock every single day. Well, the pelicans used to come here because fishermen used to throw off the sheds off or whatever. And they would come and eat it, and now they come every day and they teach you. Teach about you about the pelicans. pelicans. Anything with some animals or animal feeding, and Laura's there. I am there. But all our friends are here to watch the pelican feeding with us. Our friends. <laughs> It's a stingray! So they said on any day you can see between zero and 90 pelicans. Today we, we saw zero. <laughs> No pelican it's turned very up. uncommon for none to show up, but I think because it's Labour, uh, we, Labour, Labour Day weekend. Something. Yeah, it's very busy, a lot of people here. Yeah, so it's scared them off. And Laura learnt lots of pelican facts. pelican facts. They don't make for life. But no pelicans, I want my money back. <laughs> Didn't spend anything for that viewing, but... I'm glad I did it. I feel robbed. <laughs> I think we might have some more luck actually seeing some animals here. Fingers crossed. It only costs 1370 per person to come in and it's a non-for-profit organisation which means all the money goes back into caring for the koalas and research and all the other good stuff. I think that one might be a girl because it said the girls have little cute faces and fluffy ears. But I might be wrong. So good. That was definitely the closest that we've ever got to a koala. Yeah. Right in front of us. We just got really lucky because they sleep 20 hours a day and then he happened to just come down and sit right in front of us and eat all these eucalyptus leaves. So cute. Yeah, and he was eating it and then he'd fall asleep. And, and then, then wake up and eat it. The right time of year, there's humpback whales that swim past here. Unfortunately, not right now. Always missing. I know, we, we actually need to plan our travels around these whales. We're at the western tip of the island. Nobby's Point. And it's a wee bit breezy. It's just a little bit colder than it was earlier. Just a little bit, but we're hoping we might be able to see some seals if you look hard enough. Yeah, the rocks kind of out to see where you can see the seal so I think we're gonna have to squint really hard. So this is seal rock right here and it is home to the biggest fur seal colony in the world not that we can see any and apparently I don't know if this is completely true but there's the most amount of great white sharks that live around here because of the fur seals. I'm hoping we might see one but I don't think we will. Lee? Hmm. See anything? Hmm. <laughs> not yet. Nothing. No sharks. No seals, just wind. We are at the infamous Penguin Parade. Probably the thing that um, Phillip Island is most famous for. It's a little bit expensive. Yeah, for what for what you get, a bit expensive. But. Yeah, it's about roughly $30 each to come and watch some penguins walk along the beach. 
but but look at us <laughs> we'll be nice we've we, paid it we are one of the penguin watchers we're hoping we get lucky last night it said there was about one and a half thousand penguins that turned up some days so, not many hopefully we get a bit more luck than the pelicans yeah any more luck than the pelicans <laughs> and the seals yeah then we'll be good and the penguins aren't even coming for another hour and a half so just sit here get cold and hope it doesn't rain we have no control over the penguins we know that they're going to come in each night Unfortunately, we're not allowed to film the penguins. They just did a little speech about what the evening's going to be like and there's a big policy about no taking video or photos or anything like that. Even though I wouldn't use flash anyway, but apparently the penguins are super, super sensitive and there is a risk that they could throw up all the food that they just ate in the ocean and they wouldn't be able to keep their babies. <laughs> yeah. So we don't want that. So we'll let you know how the experience goes after. Last night after the penguins we just headed home and drove in the dark about two hours back to Melbourne. Yeah, the penguins was pretty nice. Our honest review is I would still go if I was going to Phillip Island. Yeah. But it's quite crazy that they charge you $30 to go and sit in the with cold. Two and a half thousand other people. That's not an exaggeration. They literally no. said it sold out two and a half thousand people were watching these penguins. Yeah, and like they have no outgoings. So we're hoping that all the money goes to but, research yeah. into penguins, but we're not entirely sure. But um, needless to say, yeah. it was very sweet. You do see yeah. these tiny little penguins running across the beach. They're very cute. They are very, very cute. And we saw probably over a thousand, I think. Yeah. Come aboard. We are sailing down the Yara. That's it then, it's Melbourne done. Yeah, we're sad to leave, but we've had a really good weekend exploring and doing things that we haven't done before, like Phillip Island and go boat. Yeah, we've been taking a lot of good things off and it's been really nice showing my dad and his partner where we've been living the last year, obviously not only in Melbourne, but just welcoming, welcoming, welcoming them into <laughs> Australian culture. But really we're good. really excited. Tomorrow we head off to our fourth Australian state. Yeah, so join us. Well, we fly over to Tasmania and we road trip around there. Woohoo, I'm excited. Very excited, should be good. See you in the next one. <laughs>